Okay, it's happening! Fellas, a cutscene just dropped on us with reset today. I have no idea what's happening, but it's all of like 30 seconds, so watch it right now! It's been a while, old man. The tower looks at you and sees a god. But I see a thug. A murderer. Betrayer. You know why I left the Infinite Forest. What I saw. A line has been drawn in this system. Light on one side, dark on the other. Where do you stand? So, the gist of it is, Osiris shows up to see Rasputin, calls Rasputin an old man, then a thug, a murderer, and a betrayer, which is like some old school dissing right there, man. Now, what I'm getting from this is that Osiris technically wants Rasputin to join us, but he's essentially holding him hostage with the imperative scout rifle saying, hey, pick a side, fool. Now, unfortunately, I don't speak Warmind or, or Rasputin or whatever. There was no dialogue there, which is really one-sided here. Osiris is doing all the dissing. Rasputin the only thing he could do is like, I don't know, flex some light, which could actually be the answer. Notice in the middle of Rasputin, there's a white light, which actually might be his way of saying, you know what? I'm going to side with you guys because this motherfucker Osiris is crazy. Osiris, though, for real, reminds me of like that old rap song from Ice Cube where he's talking about going through the hood with a rifle. I mean, the guy's got to be pushing like 85. It's still walking around the galaxy like he owns the place. Now, I would assume if Rasputin was going to sign with the dark, he would would have just pooped out a dark light, right? Isn't that, isn't that how it works? Is that how we pick sides? As Guardians, I don't think we really had options, which I wish we would have, okay? I'm just saying. Medical benefits on the dark side are so much better. They get paid holidays, and you kind of just understand where you stand, right? If you're on the dark side, you know you're evil. That's, that's just the gist of it. Light side, I have no idea. It's all about the power of vagueness. The speaker, vague. Osiris, super vague. Just a bunch of old dudes who don't really tell you much of anything. Everybody's speaking in parables. But I think what we can conclude from this cutscene is that the next DLC will probably dabble in some way with Rasputin, the Warmon, and all the lore that flows with that, and I have no idea what that entails. Maybe a return to Mars in some way or fashion. Maybe Anna Bray will come back. Isn't the stranger supposed to be like Anna Bray's sister? That's just what I heard. I have no idea. Somebody get me Bife. But if that's the case, all of those storylines could be surfacing this coming up season. Fellas, that is the cutscene. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you got any inside information on what Osiris is doing, how Rasputin is feeling about this, I'm very interested. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.